Hey everyone, we are back for more, well you know exactly what game this is, right? But I'm gonna say it every time. It's Dark Parables 5, the final Cinderella. And, you know, play traditions, so we have the bonus game, which is called the Oriental Cinderella. And, we're just gonna continue because we are going through the portal to the mirror world with Pinocchio. And, soon, you know, we're gonna be... Um, yeah, we're gonna be, uh, getting further than the bonus, uh, than the, than the beta. Ah, oh, I can't talk anymore. We're going in. We're at chapter three, and Pinocchio was spooked by something. He's running away. Why are you an idiot, Pinocchio? Yes, here's the pirate chest. Thank you. Finally. Yes, I want beans. Stock seeds. Well, it's better than coffee, so. This seafaring marauder's jacket is missing. His decorative trimmings. Uh, you want a night emblem? Oh, you want a wooden mouse? That's what you want your whole life. But oh my goodness, there's a parable piece. It's a forbidden grove, a parable number three out of four. What is this? This is. Well, wheel handle. And we cannot go back because the portal is closed. Oh my. Oh, hello. We have the whole royal clothing collection. We have to get back into that mansion, right? Though flashing lights glow warmly among their branches, these trees emanate a sense of evilness. Yes, they kind of do. Okay, scene. Glass lotus flower. Let's get our hands on that. Come on, glass lotus flower. Ah, oh, come on. When we get through the game, I want to see the story, like everything we haven't seen yet, right? We're so close. This is basically, you know, what we haven't seen yet. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, we have our glass lotus flower. There we go. And I think, you know, we're not. Let's go after Pinocchio. This is where the beta ended. Help me, detective! Catherine! This is where the beta ended. But we'll continue! Why are you in a tree, Catherine? Why are you in a tree? Oh my goodness, you're not. You were a morphing object. <laughs> I was like, this is weird. The evil godmother trapped me here. Why out here? Across the liquid might melt through the tree's magical defenses. Okay. Uh, be successful. The evil godmother trapped me here. <laughs> Why would she trap you in a tree out of the forest? I'm oh, sorry, I don't really get that. This pure soil soil is perfect for cultivating magical plants. Oh look, I have beanstalk seeds. Here we go. Even magical plants require water to grow, but then they're not magical. Oh, lame. Across the mistful chasm stands Godmother's castle. Is there any way to go there? No, we're never getting there. This pile of treasures it could be the loot that the thieves try to steal from this mirror world. Beware of the trees in this forbidden grove, for they have been tainted by the souls of evil thieves. Oh, it's the no, wait, Sacred Grove. Oh, the branches blocking the path into the forest are gone. Hello? Wait, the parable was- Oh, the Forbidden Grove. Okay. I was wrong. <sighs> oh, there he is! Hello! The giant beast is staring at me, but it's not attacking me. Is someone controlling his movements? Creepy. Oh, hello, pumpkin. And rope. With its nose with its nose carved out, this gigantic pumpkin's face is incomplete. He seems to be missing a mouth and eyes and ears and stuff too, actually. This pumpkin is huge. So huge. I wonder how many pumpkin pies I can make from it. Or you know a carriage. Okay, what's here? We get a glass butterfly. Is that for our glass lotus, maybe? I don't know. Uh, 
come. Let's see here. We have two pieces left. There's one, and the last one is. Is I'm hungry, but that's not what we're looking for. We are looking for. I can't see it, and it's there, right there. Cool. We got ourselves a glass butterfly. Hello, glass bladder. Glass bladder fly. Blah. Okay. Oh, lasso. Okay. Trowel. Glass dragonfly. Gra. Gla bleh. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try saying that. Among the card items is a beautiful wooden ball. To whom does this toy belong? No kill? I don't know. Scissors! And clothes! Floral clothing collection! And we got the evil godmother parable. Oh, the scissors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the evil godmother is like sewing equipment. Hey, well. I have the well wheel handle. Oh, crud. I need a pulley wheel. No! But... 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 but <laughs> I can't do anything then. What? I am trapped. And I'm freezing and I'm hungry. Wow. Well, I can at least close my window. Okay. Um... What do I do? There's not that many options. There's a clearing full of tree stumps over there. Why would anyone cut down these evil trees to make evil tables? Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, hello, map. You are here. I can do anything. Oh. Oh, cool. That is cool. Okay, uh, I am missing stuff in here, but okay, well, of course. Of course I am. Do I have what I need? I don't think I have a pulley lasso? No? Um, I don't think I have your nose, buddy. No, that's not your nose? Okay. Wait. Glass slippers is yours. Nope. Nope. That was not his. I don't know why it wasn't his, but it wasn't his. Really? This is like the only thing I can do? What? I don't get it. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Now I see. Now I see. Hi, trowel. Hello? You are Sulfurous Potion. Oh, we're getting Catherine out. Awesome. I think. I hope. Ouch! Kind of. Watch what you're doing. You almost injured me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up! She might come back at any moment now. Um. <sighs> okay. Thanks, Detective. I saw some glass maidens in the glass wasteland. Let's go save them. What? I don't know what you just- what- <laughs> I don't get a personality anymore! I saw some maidens in the glass wasteland. Let's go rescue them. It's like... Sure, cause we, you know, we don't have anything else to do. This spooky world with a freaking godmother after us. <sighs> Thanks, detective. I saw some glass maidens in the glass wasteland. Let's go save them. <laughs> I don't know. Her uh, her tone of voice just sounds funny to me. Um, so where's this glass wasteland? What are you talking about, Cinderella? Catherine, I don't understand what you're talking about. Oh! Hey! I got a wheel pulley! Now? Can we please get water? Oh my goodness! I was totally not expecting him! Whoa! Sorry! Holy crud! Bishop emblem and water! Oh! Okay, beanstalks will help us get down. Whoa. There you go, magical plants. 
That's totally not where I planted you, but that's okay. If I remember correctly, this magic circle has the effect of keeping the soil within it free of impurities. This extra tough wood might come in handy later. I should get some tool to chop up the vine. Vine. Oh, we can get to the castle! <gasps> Hi! The first thing I see here are these man-eating plants. If I could find items to stop the moth, prop the monster's mouth open, I can get that shiny gem on its tongue. You know, I don't think I want to touch that, actually. You know. That is very much a rusty axe. That is so rusty, I can't use it. Oh, I oh, managed to only chop off a log before breaking. Okay, well, it did kind of work. More than I thought. Oh! I know what we have stuff. We have glass stuff, but we do need a lotus plant part, lotus leaf, right? Let's say mirror, I think. Uh, let's see, we're not missing anything. This large, imposing castle must belong to the evil godmother. I think so too. Does someone live in this charming wooden cottage? Pinocchio! Okay, now I'm gonna stop talking about Pinocchio, but I wonder where he is. He just ran away. Oh, hello. This, this castle door is keyed to open when the correct insignia is inserted into the door. You got a pumpkin mouth. Okay. Uh, I have emblems, but I don't have insignias. Find the glass maidens. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna give the pumpkin his mouth back. There you go. And yeah. Well, what do we do with the log? Oh, do we prop the mouth open? Yes, we do. The flower's te teeth is dripping venom. It was safer to grab the gem with a rope. I don't know how you did that, but we are obviously awesome because we can grab po <laughs> pirate jack ornament gems with ropes. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was hilarious. But at least they told us that we need a rope, right? That would, I mean, I would never have guessed that in like a million trillion years. <laughs> Okay, well, we have the glass lotus leaf, so we're getting through here. Oh, orange. And purple, kind of pink. Pink's my YouTube color for some reason, so, you know, I'm gonna love pink. What is this? <sighs> Adjust the paths to guide each gem to an alcove of the same color. This sounds bad. Oh, my goodness, what is happening? Um, is this gonna go round and round now? Oh. What happened there? Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, oh, okay, so we get to an alcove with like the right, um, um. Oh, it's got- with the right color, um, the first one is gonna go into the alcove. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. What do I do? Oh, I just- whoa, I just screwed this up bad. Okay, well, it's working now. Okay, cool. And then I got to get a blue one. Uh... Let's do like this first. I want to get it up there again. Then it's gonna go into the blue and it's all gonna be super awesome. We did it! And it was so much fun actually. Well, all the puzzles are of course fun because this is Dark Parables 5, right? <gasps> We're going in here, through the door and... Uh, can't you just tell me what the place is called? Come on, I missed that. <gasps> We're in chapter four. Hello, Catherine. And lots of glass maidens, and they look really horrified, and they are scaring me. Wow, there's one asleep. And, okay, they're knocked over. Like, 
Girls from all over the world have fallen prey to Godmother's cursed clothes. Hello. Why are you standing there holding a nose? <laughs> that is Oriental Clothing Collection. When Godmother was holding me captive, she mentioned glass slippers being key to some curse. Uh, here. What good is one glass slipper? Bring me a complete pair. I really don't think that, that is. I'm starting to be like, uh, is that really Catherine? Because that doesn't seem like her personality at all, right? She's like totally demanding. Is that really still Catherine? Um. These are two glass maidens who were kidnapped from the mansion. I'm start. I mean, it's really weird, right? The godmother put her in a tree? And now she's. That's not her personality. That was totally not. Okay. Glass spell book. I, I I don't think that's Catherine. I may be wrong, but I'm betting you know, no money at all. <laughs> um, on that that might be Godmother tricking us because um, it just doesn't add up, right? She's got this weird personality right now, and why put her in a tree? Like, random? What? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about- um, let's see here. Uh, we need... We need... Uh, I don't want that thing, and then I want that last thingy. I can't explain what it looks like, but it's super cool. And it's so cool, I'm gonna hint it. Oh, there it is. Ta-da! Alright, we've got Glass Spell Book. Yeah, I don't think you're Catherine. That's that's what I'm going with. Okay, uh, let's give the pumpkin his nose. Wait. Yeah, I thought it was a <laughs> scene here. Carver's Insignia. Was it emblems or insignias we had with like the bishop and a knight? I can't remember. Oh well, we're gonna see it soon, so. Come on, I am totally clicking the right stuff. Come on. Okay, two things left. Focus. Ward, focus. Let's see here, I want that hand. And I want that little circle thingy. Hmm. What? Oh, okay, okay. Yep, I saw it now. Okay. We've got Carver's Insignia. The others were emblems. This is an insignia. Another, another, eight, another scene here. We're getting a sturdy axe. That is going to help us uh, get more wood off that vine, hopefully. There's a snake. Or, you know, an Ekans, because that is totally snake backwards. And I love Pokemon. Well, I don't like any Pokemon after Generation 4, but... And in that, I love Pokemon. I'm not gonna start a Pokemon fight, just saying what I personally think. Um... Two things left. One of them looks a bit like a crown, and the other one looks like that. There's the crowny thing, and we have got ourselves a sturdy axe. Let's chop off some more here. Woohoo! We got a bridge! We're not gonna go there. We're gonna give him his nose. There you go, buddy. You still need eyes and stuff. With his eyes carved out, this gigantic pumpkin's face is incomplete. No way! Really? Alright. So we can go here. Uh, but we're not! Woohoo! Because this seems like, you know, rather good place to stop because we can totally go to somewhere we haven't been before. You know, maybe not really a cliffhanger, but... But I'm 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 doing my best, okay. 
So that's all for episode 3. So we went through the portal, we're running around here in the mirror world. We found Catherine, but I'm seriously doubting that it is Catherine. But we'll see, I might be wrong, you know, but I don't think that's Catherine because she's way weird now. Uh, do you guys think it's Catherine? Like, am I the only one here? <laughs> be like crazy and going like, no, you're not who you say you are. But I don't think so, so. Um, but yeah. You know, we're just playing this awesome, awesome game and enjoying it, having loads of fun. I'm having fun at least, so I hope you guys are also having lots and lots of fun. And, you know, I'll just see you later for, you know, more of Dark Parables 5, The Final Cinderella. <laughs>